So first crack at it for Auburn and Jared Sidham, the transfer from Baylor, and he's off the target. College for a year but not playing, and now in his first season on the Plains. And he's able to complete this to Darius Slayton, and I'll be. Darion Johnson's first touch is good for a first down, and he's going to fight for a few more years for this Arkansas defense. Auburn trying to find some tempo here with a quick snap, and Carrion Johnson is able to pick up four. And now he'll trade with Chandler Cox, and they're going to load it up. Full house now, a little touch pass to Eli Stove. Can't quite find the perimeter, and Stove takes. Whoa, a lot of movement. Prior to the snap, ball start, 71. Stidham trying to set up a screen. Slayton breaks free. Darius Slayton trying to get past the last man. And they take him down inside. The Andre Tolliver had a chance to cut that one short, but. And now Stidham's going to keep it on the left side. He will waltz it in from 15. Be the readiest. I thought you were running the buck sweep to get from one side of the field to the other. <laughs> I knocked to my buck. <laughs> <laughs> carries since September 16th. He's been a great changeup for Johnson. See if he's able to be healthy enough to use it. Stidham with a deep ball and a falling catch made by Will Hastings. 40, but he's even better in and out of those cuts. Stidham out to the perimeter. Ryan Davis trying to find a block and he sneaks. Got away from a big time in the second half of that LSU game. They'll run it on second and four. Carry on Johnson only finds mm -hmm. one. Auburn two and two on third downs tonight. Carry on Johnson, first down. Jalen Harris in motion, the big tight end. Carry on Johnson hits the hole hard. He's able to. Arkansas showing blitz. Stidham has all day. Nowhere to go with the football, and Stidham shovels it out to Chandler Cox. And they ad lib their way to. Auburn's going big here. Spencer nine, Tucker Brown in. Karrion Johnson and the Wildcat gets through, and he takes it inside. He's still coming. Karrion Johnson, another touch, and somehow spins free. And pick. Karrion Johnson's helmet came out. Came off, he comes out, Cameron Petway in now, and Petway gets met at the hole by Dijon Harris to third down tonight. Effort is there, and they remain per 35. 12 play of the drive coming up. Stidham under center now. They fake the toss sweep, little bootleg. Fire on the run. Incomplete. Marion Jackson met in the backfield, reverses field, tried to hurdle and paid the price. Mark. Pressure from the edge, Stidham throws it that direction to carry on Johnson. Johnson to the five, and he bowls over his... And now he's a regular, one of the fastest players in the league. Stidham swings it out to Ryan Davis. And you know you're worth 3140. Here's a reverse. Eli Stove has plenty of running room. Stidham trying to throw a block for him. Stove runs into his own guy, keeps on trucking. And Stove finally gets taken down. Into the backfield, got to stay disciplined in that 3-4. Carry on Johnson straight ahead. With the reverse. But then the linebacker that was out of position, Dre Greenlaw was the guy running down, making the tackle. Great hustle. Stidham wants to unload. He uncorks one deep. Good hands on a great catch by Nate Craig Myers. And that's rocking. Decoy. He's going to get some more looks now, though. And a swing out to Ryan Davis. It's wrestled down. Stidham pulls it back. Spins his way, and that'll set up third. Johnson hesitates, pushes forward, and is enough for the first down. After further review, the runner was down short of the first down. Yeah. Look at those eyes. Yeah, we kept looking at the body and the shoulder made right now. Auburn 5 of 10 on fourth down this year. Johnson trying to go over the top and they stuck him. The 
those yeah. guys go up and get it. Three elite receivers at his disposal. Here's Carrion Johnson. Five times of their 12 first downs. Carrion Johnson again. Meanwhile, on the other hand, uh, Will Hastings here in the slot. Instead of looking for him on a deep out, he's past the chain, but it's picked off! Arkansas saw it coming! Had to breathe. <laughs> Carry on Johnson. Stood him off the mark, trying to... Arkansas brings an extra man. Pocket holds and it's incomplete, but we got a flag in the perimeter. Illegal shift on the offense. Two players at the same time. Penalties decline. Fourth down. Over on downs, threw a pick and punted it away for the first time. Stidham loads and he got unloaded on. Fires it incomplete. He just threw Chandler Cox away like a rag doll on his way to Stidham. Complete. Davis turns the corner. He's able to fight, and they're going to give him a first down. He bears a lot of responsibility in that game for getting taken down so many times. Yeah, it's both. It's, it's the play calling, the shots downfield without any under. Pressure coming. Pass complete to Ryan Davis. And he scrambles his way to the 11. Gets before the throw, 12th in the FC, SEC. Here's Carrion Johnson. Shoved a man to the side. Back to football after a year absence after transferring from Baylor. Johnson full head of steam. Set up third. Another quick snap here. A huddle like that. That always gets a ball quick. Shovel to Johnson. And he's able to find his way in. I don't think it's a stretch to say that this is the game that Gus Malzahn wants thus far for Arkansas. Now some miscommunication, it seems. On the back end, Stidham is able to swing it out to Ryan Davis. And Davis finds five yards on for good drive starters, and that really got momentum going for each drive that they had. Stidham on the crossing route, unable to hook up. I'd like to see in the second half, and we've seen a different offensive game plan today. On third down, looking for Hastings in the wheel route. That's coming up, so Stidham will take off. He's got a first down. Hastings sealing the edge for him. And he getting vertical. Here's Cameron Petway. Well, when Jared Stidham got his first start for Baylor. Big physical run by Cameron Petway. Getting some more action here in the second half. He looks healthier. Stidham keeps it. And he will be taken down after a first down. The other, he has the pass opportunity. Definitely a change in how they're running zone read tonight. Or an ability for him to read. And you've seen a lot of that already. Jalen Harris joins the backfield. Nice spin move, and Petway able to stay on his feet. Paul Rhodes mentioned he's got to get better at it. To the perimeter, Ryan Davis gets taken down. Runs three passes on this opening drive, the second half. Petway, and he goes in standing up. Five, and since he's been playing football, he's only played two seasons as a non-quarterback. One of those was early in his high school career head coach at Stephenville High School well before Stidham came through but that helped produce numerous quarterbacks out of that and that's Texas Arkansas brings pressure Stidham back shoulder complete for a first down to Darius Slayton out of the ball here's Cameron Petway again wow Petway will gash Arkansas again a Second turnover tonight for the Hogs. Here's a little Jimmy reverse. Pass. Ryan Davis wants to throw on the run. It is caught by Darius Slayton. And Auburn pouring it on. It's five yards ahead of the defender. No need for that. And that's what uh, Gus just saw on the big screen. Gus, you uh, pardon me. coach at the school. You played at the school. It's obviously going to mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Stidham connects the outside. And Ryan Davis, and this is third and one. Arkansas got off great and too good. That draws a flag. Offside on the defense, number 96. Five yards from the previous spot results in a first down.
Arkansas drops eight. Stidham trying to beat the coverage. Not going to get it. Now you're back in second and ten. Carry on Johnson. No game. So it's not that even into coverage. Incomplete. <laughs> in on a sack and a half and a couple forced fumbles tonight for Jeff Holland. How enjoyable is uh, is spending time from 20, 30 years ago as a coach. He's worked for some fantastic head coaches and guys who have won national championships, including Pete Carroll. He said, I learned from Pete Carroll to him. Uh, Kevin, coach means teacher. And you can just, if you've heard Tom Osborne speak, you can hear that voice coming out. Cameron Petway's got his third. Looks thinks that might be the best backfield in SEC history. You see Malik Willis take over in the backfield. And Willis, the freshman quarterback, will take off with it. He's got some speed. He can go. On his first play, Malik Willis takes it inside the third. Former Auburn great, who's actually also doing sideline for the Auburn Network here for this game. He's like, dude, how can you have a second on that list? <laughs> yeah, you I got a problem with that? I was a little disappointed. Upside in the defensive end, right? He, he was our short yardage guy. <laughs> <laughs> he transferred out, but you know, when you put the three of us together, you know, I know what they did here with Lyman that is incredibly valuable. Here's the freshman Malik Willis again. Boy, he is shifting. He wow. takes it down to 10. Stance completely changes. And that takes reps. You have to get used to that mentally and emotionally just because it's very different when you flip sides. He, he told us last night, Tom, he goes, listen, I don't, I don't. You're here in the fourth quarter. A little touch pass. And there's another touchdown. This Devin Barrett. On offense are what makes this team go. The defense is one that can be relied on and leaned upon every week. Well, high school in Atlanta, but he's looked really good with a fresh set of legs tonight. I'll tell you what, I'd love to see some specialized packages. His knowledge of the playbook, his able, uh, ability to execute. There's no question execute it. But in the college game, you can be different enough and ship those personalities enough. That your number two QB can get five winless in the SEC. We'll have to wait and see if and when they can get Austin Allen back or if that would have made any difference tonight.